Well, Turks and Caicos Islands police have launched an investigation into the apparent murder of a Bahamian entertainer. Jim Anita's Rain reports tonight that the news of the homicide of 65-year-old Alden Sylvester Hamilton, better known as Sly Roker, was a surprise to his family and friends here in the Bahamas. Family members of Alden Sylvester Hamilton, better known in the entertainment community as Sly Roker, coming to grips with his murder. The 65-year-old who was living in Providentialis for the last 10 years was gunned down Wednesday morning. His daughter, Rhea Roker Williams, telling Zaranas News in a telephone interview that she was shocked to learn about her father's passing. I actually got on the phone call at 4 o'clock in the morning. Uh, he was actually still alive when I spoke to the doctor. They were doing everything they could to try to save his life. But they did say he was in extreme condition, so I already thought that he would not make it. So getting that news was still a shock, but sort of expected at that point, but nonetheless very sad. According to reports from local police, sometime after 3 Wednesday morning, assailants entered Roker's Bay Road Blue Hills home in Providentialis and opened fire. He was taken to hospital where he was pronounced dead a short time later. Turks Island Commissioner of Police James Smith said in a statement he is committed to bringing the facts to light. Smith says police are conducting a thorough investigation and are in the process of collecting evidence. Meantime, he also spoke to Jamal Rogers, Roker's son, on his father's tragic death. You know, it's, it's very sad that someone can be removed out of your life uh, by an act of violence. He was a, he was a great person, a Bahamian icon, and you'll be sadly missed. There's no words uh, to who may have ever caused this. Um, right now, there's a lot of anger, confusion because we still don't know exactly what happened but we hope to get to the bottom of it when we arrive in church. Now Rogo was a self-taught musician who was always open to helping persons in the industry. He worked as an engineer contributor on several albums being produced by Compass Point in the early days. Most notably he collaborated on music with the late Robert Palmer on Addicted to Love fame and the third world. As for Roka Williams, she described her father as one who is peaceful. Anybody that knows him knows that he's a man that has always lived in peace, always, never raised his voice, um, always tried to calm or diffuse any situation. So for him to be such a peaceful person and to have his life ended this way, I don't know what I could ever say to the person responsible. The family is thankful for the outpouring of love and support, asking for prayers and privacy at this time. Meantime, the Royal Turks and Caicos Police are appealing for anyone who may have information on the murder to contact them. Jiminita Swain, ZNS Network News.